The beast re-emerges from the depths. Okay, there we go. Oh, that reset the turn. Alright, well, let's, let's get him burning again. That's the, did I pick the right one? That's what combust is. Yeah, burns. Get burned. Alright, Alex, you're kind of in trouble here. Um... Increase healing received by 50%. Only one hour can be active at a time. Hmm. What was the aura of hope? Light and dark damage resistance. Yeah, we don't need that. Uh, um. I also need to keep in mind I can't stop monsters from acting with this. But anyway, you've only got, like, enough to really keep one aura going at this point. And now he's doing that other thing. What was the other thing? I already forgot. <laughs> um, I don't remember. It was some other special status thing. It completely slipped my mind. Um, I'm gonna put up the aura of protection, I think. Yeah. Just gonna put that up there. You should probably heal our friend before he gets wiped out. Oh, you've only got like two of these. Oh boy. Alright, well, uh, I'll just do our best. Escalate. Oh, it's... Oh, you can only use it once for battle, basically. The cooldown takes so long. Well, we still have our haste. There's only one monster, so you know what? Maybe this is just fine. Maybe that's enough. There's water again, that's right. Yeah, and it wipes out his, like, defenses. It's real bad. But Sydney can do, like, the thing that, that puts it back up. You know, a soothing stream. Let's get that HP recovery going. I wonder if that stacks with Aura of Healing. Not that I can do anything about that right now. Skip your turn, guy. Ah, uh, boy. You are running out of points rapidly. I think maybe I'm better off just having you, uh, regular attack for now. Yeah, it's wimpy as heck, but... Should I save up for the Annihilate? I feel like I probably should. But his regular attack gives him, what? Is it 20? This gives you 30. All right, just get it all the way up there, man. Yeah, I need more before I can do that. Uh, he's about to do the thing. Yeah, let's counter spell. And then I'll hit the water spell back at him. At least a little bit. Ah, oh, that did some damage. It kind of cost a lot, though. Uh, um... Hmm. And you are also running out of MP very quickly. Grants an ally 20% chance to dodge attacks. For, for how long? He is kind of going to be taking like half the hits here. So maybe that's a good call. Make him a little bit dodgy. Hope for the best. Or is still going. Uh, just smite, I guess. That costs a bit too much. Alright, let's see how that Annihilate does. 3,500? I'll take it. Mmm. It'll take him another two turns to get enough. I think I'd rather just hit the guy. Sweet! It missed! It worked! You see? The strat. The strat. Uh, we're kind of out of MP. All I can do is smack him. A little love tap on the side of his face there. Uh... You're also rapidly running out of health. See, this increases the healing received by 50%. I'm 
We're gonna, we're gonna see. We're gonna see if it stacks with the the healing thing that Hallie put up. Or does that? Oh right, it only affects one person at a time whenever he does it. Not always a water person. I forgot. That's okay. You know, we're probably fine. We're really close to beating this guy. I think I should just go for it. Heck, I'll even have you just basic strike. Finish him, Sydney! Goodness. I got a little tense. Level ups. All right, we got an idol of death. Leather armor, another aquatic talisman, a benthic blade. What is the benthic blade? Does it have the effect of the boss's bite? Attack deals water damage. I see. So it's basically good as long as the enemy is not resistant to water. Okay. Okay. When did we get... Oh, we haven't used any classes for this. I don't think we have a class that can use a basic crossbow yet. All these things. There's a right old death. Well, let's see what we've got here. Faint energy lingers on the spot. The memories of a fallen adventurer who once walked the same path you do now. Once again, you reach out to this power, absorbing this lost knowledge within to yourselves. And it's the rogue class. Rogues are sneaky and flexible, capable of improvising in the heat of combat. Their moves are powered by stamina, which fully refills every turn. A rogue assassin focuses on immense single target damage, while a swashbuckler plays a more mischievous and supportive role. Try them out from the class option in the menu. Alright, all kinds of classes. So who will be our rogue? You're not done with your silly wizarding, so you'd be this elementalist aeromancer. It hasn't been removing your equipment every time, has it? No, no, you're still fine. It only removes your stuff if you can't still wear it, it seems. Okay. Who to change out now, though? Well, since the rogue does, like, heavy single target damage, and I kind of want to use the assassin first. We'll put, we'll turn Jordan into, oh, look at this guy. Isn't that cool? It's like a sick outfit. <laughs> All ranged weapons can always ignore taunting enemies. Ooh, that's pretty nice. It's not too weak either. But the bronze sword, it's slightly stronger. Something tells me that doesn't really matter. Those two little points of attacks. Oh, look, he can equip more than one thing. He can even equip more than one crossbow if he's so inclined. I wonder if having the cro one crossbow is enough that, like, these still both count the way they would. Whatever. Have this scale helm. It's better than the other helm. Other armor. Both crafted armor worn by the hunters of the forest. That's just basically better than chainmail. I mean, might as well. You got nothing else to give you there. How many aquatic talismans do we have now? Sydney's the only one who doesn't have something. You know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe we give it to Sydney. There we go. Looking good. Save the game. So I don't know if I do the equipment again. Are you ready for battle? Yes. What's next? It's that guy! We've seen you in a few RPGs at this point. They're all from the same, like, pack of stuff. Alright, let's set him on fire, this boulder beast. Uh, I want you to... Uh, what do we want you to do? We want you to intervention. So they can't hit you. Okay, so he has two stamina all the time. That's basically how that goes. Well, if it recovers fully every turn, then... But doesn't that just mean he's always going to be able to do these things? What are your assassin abilities? Backstab. A thousand physical. A mighty attack that can only be used on the first turn. Oh. And then there's Eviscerate. 
100 plus 100 per turn of bleed damage. Okay, it's like a slice that inflicts severe bleeding, dealing heavy physical damage again each turn. Nice. And then there's like sponge, removes all poisons from an or enemy. Removes all poisons from an enemy? Deals earth damage for each. Poisons are removed. So I guess it makes poisonous enemies not poisonous. So like if I use it on those uh, shelled guys, they won't be able to poison us. I guess. And meanwhile, you've got all these things. The smoke bomb, gain a 100% chance of dodge attacks. This turn ends your turn and removes taunt. Oh, okay. So you can't... Yeah, that would be kind of busted, I guess. Gain a 100% chance to score a critical hit. Next turn ends your turn. Okay, but how strong is a crit? So that knocks it on busted against stunning them. Uh, poison and powder. Applies a powerful poison that deals at magical earth damage each turn. Hmm. It's like knives across the battlefield striking the air or striking for air damage. Seven times. Seven times. But it's like really low damage. Ten? Ten is low as heck. This applies poison damage that deals magic other than turn stacks this five times. Hmm. Poison bleed. Twin slice, two swift strikes, one after another dealing air damage. There's a lot of options at this point. I'm a little overwhelmed, to be honest. Fast and powerful attack. Final attack that ends your turn. Well... Well, yeah, I mean, all your attacks end your turn. Generally. Oh, wait. Oh, I get it. He can do, like, one or two actions depend. Okay, I think I understand. But this only works on the first turn, so we're gonna do that first. Yeah, I get it. And once he's out of ST, he has to pass. Alrighty. Now I understand. Timer. Still a really good defensive option. Not that it matters when we're invincible. Alright. Uh, this is all enemy damage. Uh, there's only one guy. It's resistant to that. I guess we'll just have to kind of feel these things out. Let's go the Aura of Wrath. Oh, right. We're not invincible if we do choose to do that. Hum. Yeah, well, if we can't take one turn's worth of damage, then I don't know what to tell you. Okay, so now, if we do these things. Yeah, I don't know why you would want to remove poison from an enemy. Like, if I use this to poison him, and then I use that to unpoison him, it's like, why? Strong poisoned, and then you expunge, and it just gets rid of it? Yeah, it removed strong poison, but why would you ever want to do that? <laughs> I don't... I'm not quite sure I understand. Power up. Ugh. He boosted his stat. His regular attack is up. But you know, I'm not too worried because I can still be invincible for two more turns. Blocking it. Okay. Well, let's leave him with that severe poison damage, so he takes even more dots. Oh, okay, one of these is like magical. Well, they're both magical poison, but... Oh, okay, one of them's a better poison, looks like. Because, yeah, this is like 100 per turn poison, this one's 300 per turn poison. Okay, I think I understand. I still don't know why I would want to remove it, but I get it. Two swift strikes, one after the other. Uh, let's see the 10 times 7. Who knows, maybe he's weak to it. He is, but it was still really wimpy. Can't stop me. 
We almost died. Okay, you can intervene one last time. I don't know if he's just gonna power up again though, is the thing. But you know, I already pushed the button, it's kinda of too late. <laughs> So what happens if I try to use this on a turn that isn't the first turn? Oh wait. No, the option just straight up disappeared. Backstab is gone. No, that's fine, I guess. So you can also bleed people. Severe bleeding. Look at him go. With all the statuses he can inflict. Do this again, sure. And you just match missile. The straightforwardness of the wizards is a little comforting. Yeah, he just like, <laughs> like died to all his statuses, but he alternates between attacking and powering up. Okay, so we've got like a little fork in the road here. We're obviously going to do both forks, but just, you know. I feel like maybe. Hmm. Out of all the classes we have for, like, the Elementalist, I feel like the Hydromancer is the best just because of, like, being able to apply that heal over time to everyone. Like, you still get all the other Elementalist abilities, they're just slightly less good. That's how I feel about that. You don't really need this when you're like this, though, so... What do I want to have? It. I guess it's gonna be you, man. Hmm. And, uh, you. What do we want you doing? Let's see what the swashbuckler is capable of. I mean, really likes the assassin, but I want to check out what these things are like. Oh, boy. Okay. Now I kind of wish I brought the dot. <laughs> The guy with all the dots. Alright, we're gonna see the tide right off the bat. Just to be shrugging off damage from these dudes. Uh, you're gonna wanna intervene right away, so that when they all target you, you're fine. Uh, we don't really have a way of wiping out all these guys quickly anymore, is the thing, since Jordan is no longer um, a fighter. So you've got Encouraging Quip, Boosts an Allies' Morale, Removing Fear Effects and Ending Your Turn. Okay. This seduces a non-boss enemy, lowering their base defenses by 50%. Steal an enemy's power, lowering all their stats except HP, while raising yours. Curious. Finishing Blow, Final Take that ends your turn, and then, yeah, you've still got all the same stuff. Okay, no, so we still have, like, statuses to work with, I'm just... Yeah, I think I want to be, uh, putting a bunch of statuses on you. Strong poison. And, uh, where was your bleed thing? Or was that only the other guy's thing? Hmm. I could have sworn he had something for bleed. Or was that a specific to the other guy? Must have been specific to the other guy. Can I give him regular poison and strong poison? Are they considered separate statuses? Yeah. Totally. Oh, and you can still do these too. Like I'd say you're getting a 25% chance of dodge attacks this turn and ending your turn. A final attack that ends your turn. Uh, well, we don't need to dodge this turn because we're we've, they're all gonna target Alex and he's invincible. Uh, yeah, just smack him. Poke. There you go. Yeah, I didn't need to be skipping his turn all those times before either. Yeah, we'll get that out of the way. Invincible. 